Welcome back, guys, to Fire Emblem Engage. Well, last episode, we continued Paralog the Hero King, as after securing the treasure and dispatching the thieves on the map, Marv took this as his cue to leave his locked chamber and advance upon us, leading to a scramble to get into position and reap some of the money on his fabrications. With Marv's crystal broken, we now look to finish the fight. Now you're the final blow. So I should be able to get this attack in. You can actually hit Mail. Oh, you got Spear up. <laughs> they hope I've done well. Strong dodge. I'm missing a thousand cash, but to be honest, Anna got us a thousand cash during it just from her skill of kills. So I guess it all works out, right? You can go right up close, can't you? It's annoying that I can't beat that guy. I mean, I can echo, but I can't do it if I walk Ragnarok too. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll attack from there because it's a, a free range. It's experience, if nothing. Fortunately, Marth's occupying the space that I want, really. I could technically walk one of these guys further forward. Oh, wait. Oh. Could I have warped you in and then walk Ragnarok that? At 62 HP, I somehow feel like I wouldn't have enough damage anyway. Yeah. I think that is probably how the map would have shake shaken out. 24 times 2 times 2. Yeah, that'll do that map. But first, in I can still get experience. <laughs> I can still get a lot of experience. Got to get Seagull this thing, right? Lend me your strength. I could have warped Seagull as well. Yeah, there's lots of options there. I think he's too far I away, unless I like, maybe reposition. This is it. I can still fight. But I'll just take the chance to get myself a little bit of extra experience. <laughs> On some other guys, like a Leo hero gets magic speed and defense. It's magic that I need so much of, you know? Yeah, I'll just take it this way. I think, to be honest, if I get you in as well, it's... Uh, I could have done more, but we'll save that warp tone, I guess. Join me for one song. Yes, I am stingy enough to do this for an extra level. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate. Yeah, we'll just think about the experience there, yeah? Straight mag. <laughs> The perfect level! Zeno gets it! Yeah, he's kept his res as well. Two and a free rating. Well, let's finish it off. That's a nice cap. That was worth. You've grown strong. Oh no, the barrel! Warp shenanigans. We could have done more warp shenanigans, really, when you think about it. We probably could have killed everybody out there. But uh, would we have got that perfect level? Ain't that the question? I'm happy about that. <laughs> this build's quite low, isn't it? I'd imagine. We barely get it. Excellent. I could sense the power of your hope and your strength as warriors. As I fought, I was reminded of an old friend. I first met the divine dragon Tiki in the midst of battle, much like this. It's incredible that your world has a divine dragon in it too. Yes. Like you, she fought for us humans. Tiki was placed into a very long sleep in a temple where she would be kept safe. 
she woke and was incredibly lonely. Once we met, she said she wanted to stay with us. She called me Marmar, like a kid sister might. Human or dragon, we became friends for life. Then she and I have something in common besides our species. You, Marth, who fights to end people's suffering. Like her, I'm happy to be close to such a hero. Since our first meeting, I have felt the same. I'm grateful to you. I've become stronger because you are with me. Having my friends by my side is what makes everything possible. I couldn't do this alone. Then you understand. We will follow you always. So when are we going to play a Fire Emblem game where someone like Marth becomes a despot after their campaign? Becomes actually evil. No redemption and does not definitely join you. For no other reason. Drunk on power. When's that Fire Emblem coming out? I think people would hate that, wouldn't they? Marth's the villain now. Kill him. Or would it be the right side of edgy for people? I don't know. Impressive. You are all quite strong and valiant. It is an honor to fight alongside you. Why, thank you, Marv. We didn't get your last 1,000, but to be honest, we... Lady Anna's chipping in now with a 1 in 4 chance of money. So we're going to rub up your stuff. There's no animals to adopt here. I feel sorry for those thieves. They really were jumped on. <laughs> Poor guys. It's like, aha, look at this treasure room with four treasures that aren't actually all that good. Except for the thief that I didn't notice on the outside who had a skill book. <laughs> like, aha. We're going to sit. Wait, why are they in the room? How'd they get there? <laughs> Basically ruined all their fun times. I do that to feast quite a lot, actually. We did it to that one on the boat, didn't we? Put up an ice barrier. Said, no, you can't have that. I'm not even letting you pick it up and then killing you for it. My chest. It's always slightly, like, interesting to see what the AI might do after that fact. Will it attack the ice to get there? Will it try to walk around? Of course, the idea is that it's pathing and it's not going to be an attacking force. For the most part. Hey, look, the first A support is Seedle. Who would have guessed? Indeed. How many people thought I was contemplating dance, fortune telling, and what snack to have? Seedle, please, hear me out. I think your dancing is perfect, and enjoying the things you love every now and again won't change that. What's this all about? I understand that your dancing is as beautiful as it is because you're so disciplined. But if you eat only to fuel the dance, you're not thinking how savory feeds the soul. Savory feeds the soul? Your inner joy surely must also be part of your dance, right? When you danced in the moonlight thinking of those who had died, that was truly beautiful. I'm sure that dancing while dreaming of savory foods must be distracting. You're trying to tell me my dance is less perfect because of this? Fuel your dance with things that bring you joy. We will feel the joy too. I understand that you want to dance perfectly to protect your friends in battle. All the more reason to fuel your moves with savory food too. Divine One, you don't understand. If I fuel my dance with just anything I want, that's playing with fire. My life as a dancer has always put function before flavor. <sighs> but... I am starting to see what you mean about savory feeding the soul. You're very thoughtful, and that makes me happy. Thank you. You're welcome. And given you are the Divine One, I will take your advice to heart. In fact, that fried dough bathed in oil sauce from the other day, it's been on my mind. Then let's go order some. Now the question is, how much savory is too much savory for one sitting? Perhaps we should consult the spirit of the cards. Ah, uh, you saw my reading the other day. Divine One, I'm afraid you've only seen my undignified side lately. I've seen your charming side as well. I promise you this. From now on, you'll see a better me. 
I realize now the dance is both an inside and outside dance. Expect perfection. I'm happy if you're happy, Sea Doll. You're pretty cool. That means you're the first one at level 20, Super Bond. Grants hit avoidance plus 30 to unit and allies within two spaces that are synced or engaged with an emblem. Neutralizes effective against this unit. What? That happens? You get engaged for an extra turn, and this is your ultimate weapon, is it? Oli Goludia. That's not my name. Sword wielded by Emblem Alia. Effective corrupted. Interesting. Not high on the MT. Wait, does he just always have, like... <laughs> Effective doesn't matter on him, or is it just when I'm guessing it's just when it's the engaged stuff? Because if he's always, yeah, okay, there's none of that good because that would be crazy, that would be far too much of a good thing. Other supports we did build during that time, of course, a Cedar with another A support, no bonds at this point in time, but I can get Marth back on again. Uh, wrong inventory. Marth, let's go. Ah, there's no wasting books. I'm just thinking about like some people being capped hey, on things. I'm so happy to you see you. You either get the stats or you get the stats. What meal are we having today? Because most of our friends are at an A. Let's see you with Lyndon and Vanda. We're still only a C with Vanda. Capable of crumble cake. I believe that you are indeed capable of that. Have some more special fruits. I may not look it, but I'm an excellent cook. I don't think you are. Just like prepping the alpaca's meals back home. That's why. <laughs> What's that noise? Is that an this alpaca noise? Its own legend. A very interesting creation. Okay, seems okay. Why, this is quite nice. We actually reached the B with Vanda. If male also gains strength plus two. Oh, Here, okay. Take some to snack on later. I guess I should do one of the other things. <laughs> HP or Dex, probably the Dex one, right? Is that how alpacas sound? <laughs> guess I haven't really looked at what well, well, heard an alpaca before. <laughs> That's my impression of an alpaca too. Okay, so Anna is now a total of like level seven, no, level 16. So she is still behind everyone by a small margin. There are also other units at level 16 like Vale, so. Louis about to cap. I'm Vale. Let's hold nothing back. Shall we have a cup of tea afterward? Is that killing edge? <laughs> I'm sailing serious. <laughs> You cut me down most effectively. I have to get even stronger. Battle of the hair. Which one is more hair? I am Vale, the dragon princess. I am no longer the person I was. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Wait. <laughs> Bell should win if she hits the remaining two. My mind was unfocused. I have to get even stronger. Just a bit better than Mouvier. Mouvier, Mouvier, Mouvier. Sure, one of them. Magras and build for Veil, the fell child. And I thought a conversation would pop up after that. Okay, then Liliana's turn. If I win, you'd better buy something. I'm Hector. Give it your all. Zero percent. Got stronger. No. Good. Wanna win next time? Have I got just the thing for you? Zero percent and utter death. 
quite funny that it's, uh, it's, it's weird that we had, well, I had to take Anna through six levels of warrior, but that's actually really benefit benefited her with strength growth, doesn't it? To make her like rounded and be able to use both if needed. Having more than 20, uh, well, she has more than 30 magic, but having more than 20 strength as well. It's pretty good. My most versatile unit. Of course, we're always going to use spells where spells are appropriate because they're most likely to do more damage. 21 strength is good. 206 rating there. I think Alir is one of my worst units. <laughs> Apart from Vale, the dragons haven't done very well here. Sad time to those two, isn't it? Let's uh, catch another support between the two that just battled, Vale and Mobier, that are at a B. Quite fast. <sighs> Lady Vale seems safe enough. For the time being, anyway. I must not be noticed following her. I will stay back and observe without being seen. I cannot imagine explaining to Marnie that I allowed harm to befall Lady Vale. Mavir, I see you following me. Lady Vale? So you don't think I can take care of myself? Is that what this is? No. Or, or rather, yes. I mean, I know you are very capable. But I also worry. It is my duty as a knight to keep you safe. You're not just a knight. You're also my friend. Instead of worrying about me, try trusting me. A friend? I did not know. If that is the case, please tell me why you walk through town alone. As your friend, I am concerned for your safety. I want to understand why you would do that. <sighs> I do it to atone for my sins. A lot of people were hurt because of me. I need to find something good I can do for this town. Lady Vale, since that is the case, it is important that I be by your side. As one of the Four Hounds, I also committed sins for which I must atone. You are not alone in your feelings. Or your goal. You have such a good heart, Mavir. And I'm lucky to have you as a friend. So, will you help me? Can we find something good to do for this town together? Of course, Lady Vale. Should probably check them out further as we go along, but uh, we're obviously going to miss some supports as time keeps on ticking in this Let's Play. All right, let's get my uh, my me and my muscles were hoping you'd muscles on, What'll which is be? Dex again. Oh, not How the squats. Hard do you wanna go? That's my hardest one now. Ah, oh, let's see if I get messed up again. I obviously am. Perfect. Gotta trust in Sommy to save me at this point. If Sommy doesn't save me, you I'm probably this. doomed. That segment seems to do me something silly. Perfect. You've got this. Perfect. Okay. No, that was fine. I did that nice. fine. You I did that this. fine! Oh crap, Perfect. I guess not. I was too busy focusing on what I'm doing. Looking good. That I didn't get the right timing. <laughs> Perfect. Looking good. Rubbish. Perfect. You've got this. Well, supposedly I haven't missed yet. And Sammy hasn't helped me. I'm Keep sure. Yeah, totally. <laughs> totally. Looking good. How am I missing Perfect. that? You've got this. Looking good. I'll take it. Great job! I'm so proud. It was my high score? No, it wasn't. Off by one. I'm sure I hit it. Let's do this again sometime. Plans out. Right, another support. Elia and Vander. Reach to be. Divine One. I have finished repairing and polishing your weapons. Thank you, Vander. I have also prepared all of the materials you will require for the War Council tomorrow. Please do take a moment to review them sometime today. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I can't do this. 
Do what, precisely? Vander, do you think I'm unreliable? What? Goodness, no! We are mortals, and you are the Divine One. Our magnificent leader, if you take my meaning. For you to perform lowly tasks that are mine to execute is most gracious, but uncalled for. I'm sorry, but I don't feel comfortable having a servant. That's not who I am. Ah. Before I was your attendant, I was similarly engaged in caring for Queen Lumera. Your mother, perfect in mind and beauty, never lodged a complaint regarding my services. In time, Divine One, I hope that you will grow accustomed to my work as your caretaker. I respect my mother, and thank you for your service to her. But I'm not my mother. I'm my own person. I'm capable. I can take care of myself. I see. My apologies, Divine One. I have pushed myself on you. An old servant's habit, I suppose. I will honor your request and take more care in considering your needs moving forward. Thank you, Vander. And please, let me know before you do anything on my behalf. There are many times I will need your help, but I'd like to ask for that help. I mean, you have died a few times, so I'm a bit worried about you, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Dragon's Fist. Uses the magic spill. Uses the magic! We're actually be with mostly everyone apart from some of our newest gets, so I definitely need to make that happen. And Citrine, randomly. And Citrine. Cedal and Chloe's an A. This is his... Seventh A? Seven. <laughs> and one, two, three, four. I never get tired of watching you dance. Checking up on me, Chloe? I'd have set up a front row seat if I'd known you were watching. Well, I didn't want to interrupt your practice. But I brought some new folk food for you to try. Honey glazed gecko. It's good for you, I swear. It looks appetizing, as always. But thank you. Mm, the flavors are good. Unusual, no doubt. But I love the sweetness. Aha, uh -huh, just as I thought. I've brought you enough folk food to figure out the secret. You'll eat anything if it's sweet. I'm not sure about that. You know, you really are a wonderful dancer. Very graceful, but with such power. Did someone teach you? Yes, I have a master. The teacher in the caravan. He taught me to dance. I guess I should say that I had a master. Does that mean... He died during a raid on the caravan. He was protecting me. Oh, no. I never got a chance to repay my debt to him. It's the only fate I couldn't foresee. But your master's dancing lives on in you, doesn't it? I hope so. But I have a long way to go before I achieve his level of skill. Still, I do my best to mesmerize my audience through the sublime art of dance. I have no doubt you've done that. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. And now that I've eaten, it's time to dance. I was going to give you a special performance as a thank you, but how about we dance together? I would love nothing more. An A and D. They're dancing together. Is there anything else for us to actually do in the thumbnail at this point? Of course, there's like weapon refinements. So there's still some grabbing of stuff we could do. I think now is really the time where I have to start gifting people. <laughs> immensely and try to build up supports for Alir because the fact that he's only got one A support and it's with uh, one of our latest joining members. It's not, I mean, Vale is the latest, you could say, if, if we are continuing on with a group of 14. That's still kind of ridiculous to me. The fact that Louis is about to, like, cap out as well. That's kind of crazy. Have we done these yet? We have not. So Clan and Citrine reached their A as well. Gold, Mary, and Etie are going to require a lot of forcing forward. But we can change up this one. Who do we change? 
Human and Alchrist haven't like maxed out their bond yet. And I feel like they should. There's other amusing ones we were looking at, but now I don't know. Ah! Okay, I feel like we should get the brothers maxed out. Fiamont's generally maxed out with a lot of the uh, lords, princes, princesses, important people of the country. He should probably get maxed out with his brother too. You know. I feel that might be appropriate. <laughs> don't know about you. All right, we are very soon about to head down for a new map, but we'll clear out our supports first of all. Let me just pick up our grapes and the whatnot. Oranges. Sabi doesn't need feeding. He's fine. He's got a full bar. He'll slowly, slowly wither away. He'll be fine. The only other thing I can think of is refining weapons. We've probably got like a fair bit more uh, good stuff at this point. So like, hmm. So we could upgrade the Khaled bolt, but I'm wondering, yeah, I was going to say, I was wondering how much is needed to do that. Is that better than a silver sword in the end? Those questions. The braze sword can be pulled up to MT9 so we can hit a ton. There's a lot of questions over, like, ultimate weapons and what they can actually do. Like, Brianek going up to 22 and 10 crit isn't too bad with a hit. We could plug it in, but, uh, it's silver. I'm lacking in silver. By quite a large margin. But I feel like, uh, but I've already got the brave thing on you leveled up. Ain't that the issue right now? I've already got one thing leveled up quite a bit. Seems a bit weird to be going in so heavy on another. When someone like Anna could probably do with uh, some upgrades of stuff of hers. So <laughs> let's get an L5 free instead of the fire for Anna. We've got still drag of four. I'm just wondering if I should just go like start off a thingy because. I imagine the silver dagger will go up quite a lot. And we've got Khan Wenhan, which smashes, but we've got it. It doesn't mean it's a good one. We've got the Misery Cord there. It has cut with animation as well. Why not? I think upgrading a Brave Bow would be a really good choice for Alchris in terms of overall damage. His speed is enough that he'll be able to... But then he's got the longbow and I've just upgraded another thing again. It's like, favoritism! Would you like some of that favoritism? <laughs> yes, I would like some of that favor. Oh, this isn't favoritism. Oh, well, no, Killer X just suddenly reached max level. Not favoritism. No, 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 no. And then there's people like... Uh, poor Alfred, who's not allowed any super duper weapons. <laughs> He's just there with Steel Lance 4 still. No, he didn't have a Steel Lance 4. He should totally have that Steel Lance 4. I'll be here. <laughs> How much money did I just use willy-nilly? Quite a bit. Anyway. Ivy and Hortensia have reached an A. Hey, Ivy. Yes? Do you think I could be like my mother someday? I mean, obviously I've got her looks already. But I'm not sure I have her other qualities. You know, Hortensia, I think you do. You lost her when you were seven, correct? Yes. But you kept living in the castle, even without the benefit of her protection. You know what a viper's den of intrigue that place is. No ordinary child could survive it, but your charisma made that possible. What are you getting at? Your wit and charm won you allies in the court and a safe place in the castle. Sound familiar? You thrived in the academy as well. You even skipped enough grades to catch up to me. All that was done by virtue of your own merit. Do you see it yet? You said you hoped you could become like your mother someday. But you already are. Your light shines on everyone you touch just as hers did. <gasps> I... I can't believe that's how you see me. Thank you. I should be thanking you. Your example has given me courage more times than I can count. Thank you for shining your light on me, Hortensia. Aw, I'm gonna do all I can to live up to the image you have of me. 
It was so hard not to just despair and give up when we were separated. Father was gone, you were gone, I had no one. I'm truly sorry, Hortensia. From now on, we'll be together. That better be a promise, because you're not getting rid of me. Absolutely. We will never be separated again, I promise. I am blessed to have family like you, Hortensia. I will never willingly let that go. Good. Me neither. Do you think that's makeup she always applies, or is it a tattoo? I do wonder. Linden is friends with Vanda. Hmm. Problems, Sir Linden? I found a very intriguing tome. With what's in here, I may be able to develop a whole new type of magic. That does sound interesting. What sort of magic? You won't believe this, but it's a spell to restore one's youth. Surely such a spell could not actually exist. Could it? It's still theoretical for now. I can't promise I'll get results, even if I work out the particulars. But if I succeed, we could fight just as ably as our young comrades. I'm no slouch even as I am, but if I had my youth back, I'd be a terror on the battlefield. And never mind the war. Magic like this would change society as we know it. If I make any headway here, I promise that you'll be first in line for the spell. Hmm. What you describe is a dream come true. Yet I believe I shall decline. Why is that? Don't you want your lost youth back? I said before, I am satisfied to do what I can with the body I have. I pass on what I have learned to younger folk. The world needs mentors as much as warriors. Hmm. All right, all right. I commend you for sticking by your principles. But if my work pans out, I wager you'll be singing a different tune. <laughs> I suppose we'll see, won't we? Maybe we shall. We can go back to being young again! His experiments. Clan and Citrine. Oh, Clan! Fancy meeting you here. Hi, Citrine. It's been a while. I've been meaning to ask you about that one wildflower. Is it still in good health? Oh. I'm afraid not. It started to wither again, and I can't seem to help it this time. Oh, no. That's awful. No, it's okay. I think it was just time for the flower to go. Nature's doing its job. Don't give up, Clan. We'll come up with a way to fix it. Just let me think. Perhaps I could import some nutrient-rich fertilizer. That may be enough, too. Citrine. Right. Of course. This isn't something that can be fixed through a show of wealth. But I must do something. All of your hard work is fading away. You must be heartbroken. Actually... I'm mostly just thankful. Why is that? Caring for that flower together ended up making us better friends. So, yeah, I'm thankful. Oh, Clan, how sweet. Here, I have something to give to you this time. These are seeds from the wildflower. I picked them before it wilted again. So the flower can live on. Wonderful. This is worth more than any number of jewels or gemstones. I love it. Would you be willing to help me plant these? Sure! We can plant them all over the Somniel. We'll fill this whole place with wildflowers. Yes, let's. And... Plan? I hope you'll accept a gift in kind. The brooch again? But I thought... It's not a reward for hard work this time. I just want you to have it. <laughs> okay. If you put it that way, I accept. Thank you, Citrine. And thank you for accepting it, Clan. Don't put more flowers in. I'm sure the frame rates will go down. <laughs> 